Hello friends, welcome to my channel Shesa's Crochet. Today we are going to see how to crochet this beautiful baby socks for different sizes. I have mentioned here five different sizes of this socks pattern. It is very easy and quick. Even the beginner can crochet this project very quickly. Here I am using only the double crochet and the half double crochet stitches. So let's start our project. For this project I have taken here two colors of yarn. Uh, this is 100 percentage acrylic DK weight yarn. The hook size which I am going to use 3.5 mm, pair of scissors and a needle to sew the edges of this uh, socks. So let's start our project. Let's start this project with the magic circle. For that let's fold this one. Keep the tail under this strand and hold the yarn like this insert the hook into this and pull the yarn through this loop and a chain this is to secure this circle now let's make chain 3 1 2 3 yarn over insert the hook into this circle pull up the yarn adjust to the height yarn over pull through first two and the second two this is a double crochet now we are going to make same like this 14 more double crochet stitches so including with these three chains this one we will have 16 double crochet stitches here we got 16 double crochet stitches now let's pull this uh, tail like this so that the circle will be closed and then let's do the slip stitch into the third chain one two three pull this yarn through this loop so we have finished here round one now let's make two chain one two yarn over into the same space let's insert the hook pull up the yarn we got three loops on our hook yarn over pull through it's a half double crochet yarn over insert the hook again into this yarn over pull through so we got two half double crochet stitches into the first stitch now yarn over this is our second stitch inside the hook into this pull up the yarn let's make two half double crochets one and two so this round we are going to make into each double crochet stitch two half double crochets so at the end we will get 32 half double crochet stitches round two do the slip stitch insert the hook into the second chain and then we are going to change the color so take the second color or the main color and then pull this yarn through this let's make the red down pull the red down and the tail also and then we'll snip off this red color yarn So for this uh, 9 to 12 month old baby, we made 16 double crochet stitches for the beginning. For uh, newborn baby, it is 12 double crochet stitches. For 0 to 3 month, 13, 3 to 6 month, 14, and 6 to 9 month, 15 double crochet stitches. Now let's work with this cream color yarn we'll make chain one two yarn over into the same stitch let's make one half double crochet yarn over into the next one half double crochet and into the next also one half double crochet we are going to continue till the end of this row with one half double crochet into each half double crochet stitches so at the end we will have same like this previous round 32 half double crochet stitches and we'll make the slip stitch into the first half double crochet stitch not into the chain 
again let's make two chain into the same stitch we'll make one half double crochet and we are going to continue the same pattern till we get eight rows of 34 32 half double crochet stitches we are going to now we had one this is our second we have to finish six more rounds of the same 32 half double crochet stitches for this uh, newborn baby we did the five row newborn and zero to three month old baby we did five rows one two three four five one two three four five and for the three to six month old baby we did six rows one two three four five six and six to nine month old baby with seven one two three four five six seven rounds we did before the heel so let's finish six more rounds with the half double crochet finish eight rounds of other double crochet stitches now let's do the slip stitch insert the hook into the first half double crochet and then we'll take the red color we are going to work with the heel let's make chain one and then we'll slip off this yeah we are going to make chain two one two and then yarn over keep this two tails like this and then along with this stitch then into the same stitch yarn over and do the same stitch let's make one half double crochet yarn over and do the next we'll make one half double crochet two three four We started with the 16 double crochet stitches that's why we are making the heel also 16 uh, double crochet half double crochet stitches here we got 60 half double crochet stitches now we are going to make three more rounds with the 16 half double crochet stitches here for this uh, here we started off with uh, 16 double crochet stitches that's why we are making here the heel also 16 half double crochet stitches for this uh, early born and 0 to 3 month old baby we did 4 rows with the 12 and 13 double crochet stitches here also 14 double crochet stitches we did 1 2 3 4 rows for the 6 to 9 month old baby here we did 5 rows of heels for the 9 to 12 also we are going to make 5 rounds so we have to finish 4 more rounds with this the half double crochet stitches so for that let's make chain 2 1 2 turn the project into the same stitch we'll make 1 half double crochet into the next 1 3 yarn over into the last stitch we'll make one half double crochet again chain two and we are going to repeat here i have finished five rounds with the 16 half double crochet stitches now i'll show you the measurement for a 9 to 12 month old baby the height or the length should be 4.5 inches that's four and a half inches for a six to nine month old baby it should be four inches here it is four inches and three to six month old baby it is 3.5 inches zero to three month old baby three inches 
and for the early born it is 2.5 inches now let's close this stitches together for that keep this like it is and we are going to insert the hook into the very first stitch it's here let's pull this yarn through this we made a knot here make chain one and we did a knot now let's insert the hook into the first loop of this side and on the other side into the second loop here insert the hook and pull through this one again into this first and on the other side into the second let's make same like this till the end of this row to join this edges the last one let's make a slip stitch chain one and we will snip off this yarn now we have closed the heel now let's make the slip knot and then we are going to insert the hook into this very first stitch insert the hook into this and then we'll make chain one just to secure this one two yarn over into the same space let's make one half double crochet one yarn over into this bump let's insert the hook and we'll make one half double crochet two then into the next bump three into this space four into this bump five again into this six seven into this eight into this bump nine ten 11 12 here into this 13 14 into this 15 and into the last 16 so we got here 16 half double crochet stitches same like this here also we need to get 16 half double crochet stitches so let's yarn over insert the hook into the very first chain yarn over pull through the first two and then insert the hook into the next yarn over pull through the first two and then yarn over pull through together this is our first half double crochet into the next one half double crochet two three four five six Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yarn over into the next pull of the yarn. Yarn over to the first two, and then again yarn over insert the hook into the very first half double crochet pull this yarn through all these loops pull this yarn through all these loops chain one and two let's repeat the same pattern for six more rounds 
here for the early bond we did one two three four uh, rows here one two three four five rows for zero to three month six to three to six month one two three four five rows six to nine month one two three four five six rows and here we are going to make seven rows here I have finished seven rounds with the half double crochet and we are going to attach the red color yarn to make the ribbing so let's make this slip stitch and insert the hook into this first stitch and we'll make chain one put this yarn down and keep this yarn like this let's make chain two one two yarn over into the next half double crochet insert the hook like this we are going to make front post half double crochet pull up the yarn three loops on our hook yarn over pull through yarn over let's insert the hook into the next but backwards same like this pull this yarn up yarn over pull through two again front and then back so same like this we are going to repeat till this end of this row we started with the front post so we will make the last stitch into the back post that's here and then let's insert the hook into this first front post half double crochet here and make a slip stitch again chain two yarn over into the very first front post we'll make front post and yarn over into the back post we'll make back post so yarn over into the front post front post same like this we are going to continue two more rounds so we will get four rounds for the ribbing Now let's make the slip stitch into the very first front post half double crochet, chain one and then we will slip off this yarn. That's the end of this project. Now we will hide this yarn using this hook. We'll make one knot and we will slip off this excess yarn. This is how our project looks now. We made our project. Now let's hide these yarns using this needle. So here our project is ready. I hope you all have enjoyed this tutorial. If you like this tutorial, please hit the like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.